The tale told at a 1961 awards dinner for the American Association of Forensic Science by Dr. John Harper, president of the association, began with a simple suicide attempt. 17-year-old Sidney Barringer in the city of Los Angeles on March 23rd, 1958. The coroner ruled that the unsuccessful suicide had suddenly become a successful homicide. To explain, the suicide was confirmed by a note in the right hip pocket of Sidney Barringer. At the same time, young Sidney stood on the ledge of this nine-story building. An argument swelled three stories below. The neighbors heard, as they usually did, the arguing of the tenants. And it was not uncommon for them to threaten each other with a shotgun or one of the many handguns kept in the house. And when the shotgun accidentally went off, Sydney just happened to pass. What? Shut the fuck up! Added to this, the two tenants turned out to be Faye and Arthur Barringer, Sydney's mother and Sydney's father. When confronted with the charge, which took some figuring out for the officers on the scene of the crime, Faye Barringer swore that she did not know the gun was loaded. She always threatens me with a gun, but I don't keep it loaded. And you didn't load the gun? Why would I load the gun? A young boy who lived in the building, sometimes a visitor and friend to Sidney Barringer, said that he had seen, six days prior, the loading of the shotgun. Ricky, come here a minute. It seems that all the arguing and fighting and all of the violence was far too much for Sidney Barringer and knowing his mother and father's tendency to fight, he decided to do something. He said that he wanted them to kill each other, and that's all that they wanted to do is to kill each other, and that he would help them do that if that's what they wanted to do. Sidney Barringer jumps from the ninth floor rooftop. His parents argue three stories below. Her accidental shotgun blast hits Sidney in the stomach as he passes the arguing sixth floor window. He is killed instantly, but continues to fall, only to find, five stories below, a safety net installed three days prior for a set of window washers that would have broken his fall and saved his life, if not for the hole in his stomach. So Faye Barringer was charged with the murder of her son, and Sidney Barringer noted as an accomplice in his own death. And it is in the humble opinion of this narrator that this is not just something that happened. This cannot be one of those things. This, please, cannot be that. And for what I would like to say, I can't. This was not just a matter of chance. <laughs> These strange things happen all the time.